Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the design of EOT crane. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question. It is given, design a snatch block for class 2 crane to lift up a load of 12 tons with a hoisting speed of 10 meter per minute. Next, also if the height up to which the load is to be lifted is 10 meter, then design the rope drum the rope drum shaft select its bearing motor and comment on the transmission so this is the complete design in front of us and when we talk about eot crane it is called as the electrically operated overhead transmission crane and how it looks like first i'll explain the eot crane and then we can go on for the design part so here is the diagram of that eot crane as we can see it consists of the motor and drum arrangement which is there at the top now this motor or drum arrangement is the traversing mechanism that is it will be giving the power through ropes to this part which is called as the snatch block and the rope would be driving or passing through the rope sheaf which is there inside this snatch block and there is a hook at the end to which the load is attached the trolley frame as we can see here it will be traveling on this girder these elements they are called as the girder and in order to drive the girders also we have motor arrangement as it is given here in order to drive the girder there is motor arrangement provided next at the same time we can see that the crane would be operated electrically with the help of this remote control which is provided over here and when we see the complete design here the parts which we have to design those are first we have to design this snatch block snatch block needs to be designed then we have to design this complete rope drum part which is the traversing mechanism which consists of the rope drum, the rope drum shaft and the motor, the gearbox which would be providing power to this drum shaft and finally through it the power would be transmitted with the help of ropes through the rope sheaf and then the load gets lifted. When we are going to see the rope drum, that rope drum would be having the rope wounded both we can say in the clockwise and in the anti-clockwise direction so that is the description regarding the EOT crane and here to the hook the load would be attached which can be in terms of tons and here in the question when we see it is given that we have to lift a load of 12 tons as mentioned over here and the hoisting speed is 10 meter per minute that is the load is to be lifted up by a speed of 10 meter per minute so that is the linear velocity by which it has to be lifted and for this mechanism we have to design the complete snatch block and in the second part of the question they have said that if we want to lift the load up to a height of 10 meter so if it is to be lifted up for 10 meter then we have to design the rope drum the rope drum shaft select the bearing motor and comment on the transmission so we have to design the complete traversing mechanism that is the second part of the question so broadly when we see this design would be consisting of the design of the snatch block which contains the hook rope sheave ropes etc and at the same time we have to design the traversing mechanism which would consist of the rope drum the rope drum shaft then the rope drum we, uh, we can say bearing at the same time the motor and the gearbox so that is what the design would consist of and after that when we look at the snatch block this is the diagram of the snatch block it means out of the complete EOT mechanism here the snatch block I have separated so snatch block it consists of the hook as we can see here then there is a plate which is there at the bottom after that we can see there is a cover plate over here and then there are rope sheaves so after this so here i'll quickly name the parts so this complete diagram is of the snatch block 
also called as the snatch box and it consists of the hook then there would be plates called as the shackle plate and also there will be a cover plate then this part is called as the cross piece and here there are rope sheaves which are provided because these rope sheaves are the pulley through which the ropes would be passing and we have to design these part at the same time in the cross piece here at the top we are going to have a bearing that also needs to be designed so that is the description of the snatch block now once the description is completed we can easily design the complete EOT mechanism that is we, we are going to start with the snatch block and then we are going on to the traversing mechanism which consists of the drum, drum shaft etc. So that was a small explanation regarding the EOT crane mechanism. For the complete design you can refer our app that is impact the engineering app over which you can find the complete design of the EOT crane system. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.